The 77th Annual Tony Awards, an award that recognizes achievements in Broadway production during the 2023 and 2024 seasons, is now live at the David Court Theatre at the Lincoln Center in New York City. And in usual red carpet fashion, we indeed expected our favorite Broadway superstars and thespians to show up and show out in their head-turning looks. Now, while some showed up looking their absolute best, others just delivered some really questionable looks. So here are the top 10 worst dressed at the Tony Awards 2024. Take a look. <laughs> First up on our worst dress list, we have the EGOT superstar Jennifer Hudson. And for the 2024 Tony Awards, she had on this black velvet corset long dress. And I really do love Jennifer and I think that she is really talented. But I just wasn't really loving this look on her tonight. Now, the first thing that my eyes immediately catches when it came to this look was just how the proportions of the dress was just a bit off for me. Now, the borders area, like we can all see, just felt a bit too large and it just gave us the impression that Jennifer had really super broad shoulders. And I mean, just the way that that velvet below was penciled in, in terms of like construction, just gave me very Johnny Bravo realness with the slim legs and the massive shoulders. And that to me just did not feel right. Now, I just don't think that this dress worked for me just in terms of like fittings and i feel like because the fit was a bit off it just threw her proportions all over the place and that to me was just a no-no i also really didn't love this hair on her i just feel like time and time again we've seen this hair on her and her trying to style this braid for every red carpet and that to me just feel like it is time to let these braids go also i just didn't really love these gloves either i just feel like they should have been a little bit longer so yeah this look by jennifer i just was not obsessed by so it's gonna be a chop for me up next we have the beautiful julianne hugh and for the 2024 tony awards she had on this pale pink chiffon strapless long dress by hermano scorvino and she was styled by the incredible jennifer mazor and i just couldn't really get behind this look by julianne even if i tried just because of how hideous it just looked now first of all this pale pink color up against her skin tone just really washes her out on the red carpet especially standing next to that white backdrop i mean i almost couldn't really find her now more so i just wasn't impressed with the overall construction of this look i mean it had no real structure and everything in itself just felt like a blob to me and that in itself was just a no-no for me i also really didn't love this frail like detail that we see across the dress that in itself just gave me very tattered fashion fantasy and this look overall just did not give me that glamour that i was looking for on the red carpet this look felt very drabby the details were hideous and it just felt floppy overall to me so yeah this look by julianne just did not hit the mark for me when it came to like fashion and red carpet ready looks so it's gonna be a chop for me up next we have the ebony goddess cynthia erivo and for the 2024 tony awards she had on this golden sequin strapless long gown by Louis Vuitton and she was styled by the amazing Jason Boding. And was I really living for this look or loving it altogether? I really don't think so. Now, first of all, this look in itself just felt super busy to me. And just the way this sequin beading was done to this fabric was done in such a squashed up manner that it just looked super clunky at the end of the day. Also, I really just don't think that this look was custom made for her because one thing that will always be a no-no for me is when the dress is so visibly undersized that we can literally just see the girl squashed in front. And to me, that is definitely the case here. That would definitely not be something that I would love and it just ultimately begs the question or whether or not you were even present at your fittings. I mean this dress in itself was doing too much for me. The fit was a blithering mess. So yeah this look by Cynthia is gonna be a chop for me. Up next we have the beautiful Shina Taub. And for the 2024 Tony Awards, she had on this wine satin jumpsuit moment and this to me was just a hot boo-boo mess. I mean, I really do have to ask, where did she ultimately think that she was going to in this look? I mean, maybe she missed her turn on her way to the supermarket and, you know, just landed here because I really can't believe that she would purposefully wear this look for a red carpet appearance. I mean, 
just the overall structure of this look just really aged her badly and i just think that this sassing was wrinkly and crinkly and it was just not a beautiful sight to behold now this look to me just felt very cheap and inexpensive and i just did not really love the styling of it either those shoes to me felt very clunky and it just made no sense with the overall look while the pearls were just uh, meh to me so yeah this one was just very daunting so it just has to be a chop for me up next we have the legendary taraji p henson and for the 2024 tony awards she had on this mixed metal strapless long dress by oscar de la renta from their 2025 resource collection and she was styled by the incredible duo wayman and micah and i really do love taraji but i just wasn't feeling this look on her tonight now there was just something really very ghostly and pale about this silver dress on the red carpet and it really just washed her out real bad now i personally just think that if this dress in itself was in a golden variation i just maybe would have loved it a little bit more because this silver in itself is just doing absolutely nothing for her skin tone now i can admit that the design detail on this dress is quite decent but i just don't feel like she needed that bag for the red carpet i mean that in itself just looks really heavy and the effortlessness that i'm used to taraji serving on the red carpet was just absent in tonight's presentation so yeah this look by taraji just feels to have have that pop for me so it's gonna be a chop for me up next we have the eccentric jordan roth and for the 2024 tony award he had on this black overall dress by Rodarte and he was styled by the super talented Michael Filose and I just really wasn't feeling this look on the red carpet tonight. Now something about this look just felt very costumey to me and it just kind of lacked that elevation for me just in terms of like a red carpet ready look and I just really wasn't feeling it. Now this look in itself was giving me very swamp princess realness. It was giving me very creature of the black lagoon and not so a glamorous look for the red carpet so yeah i'm just gonna chop this look by jordan roth for me up next we have the legendary broadway diva idina menzel and for the 2024 tony awards she had on this black and nude tone long dress by Naheem Khan from their Fall Winter 2024 Ready to Wear collection and she was styled by the amazing Tara Sweeney and I really just don't think that I am in love with this dress in itself. Now visually, this look in itself just feels very disturbing to the eyes and I mean just the way that the circular details go from big to small and just really gathers around the midsection of the dress, it's just almost like I am being hypnotized to fall in love with the dress but the big question is is that ultimately working for me i really don't think so now i just don't find the design detail of this dress very appealing rather i find it very disturbing and distracting and the fact that it is all over the dress is just a bit much for me so yeah i'm just gonna give this look a chop for me up next we have the nubian queen denai gurira and for the 2024 Tony Awards, she had on this golden strapless long dress by Gabriella Hurst from their Fall Winter 2024 Ready to Wear collection and she was styled by the incredible Alexandra Mandel Korn and this look just did not do it for me tonight on the red carpet. Now the first thing that I immediately noticed about this look is the material that was used in the overall construction of this look and how just cheap it looks. Now this is definitely the kind of material that is used to create stage costume just because of how vibrant it would look from afar but up close there was just like an inexpensiveness to the fabric and that in itself is just a no-no for me more so just the way it crinkles and wrinkles is just taking me out of that glamour fantasy and it just immediately just dampened this look for me her hair and makeup is fire but everything else has to be a chop for me Complex, I don't want to be a part of her world. We have the beautiful Amber Iman. And for the 2024 Tony Award, she had on this blue mermaid-like costumey dress. And I mean, watch out Hailey Bailey. She's definitely coming for your gig in this dress. But I just definitely have questions like what in the atrocity is this dress? Because I am still not understanding what this dress is. Is it costume day? are we going swimming are we going to disneyland 
i don't know this just seems very costumey to me it doesn't feel like it's red carpet ready there's no elevation for me it just seems very gimmicky and very halloweeny so it's gonna be a chop for me finally on our worst dress list we have the stunning taylor tomlinson and for the 2024 tony award she had on this off the shoulder black short dress and i mean go girl give us absolutely nothing i mean this dress is bland it's boring it's basic and i mean it couldn't get any more basic than this i don't know this is just giving me nothing so it's gonna be a chop for me all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i share with you guys my top 10 worst dress at the 2024 tony awards if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i would definitely see you guys in the next one but for now it is bye guys au revoir